Reminder, have you ever observed unusual beauty in nature? Perhaps they spiral seen the shapes of shells of snails? Or seashells? Or maybe in the arrangement of seed of flowering plants? What about in architecture? You might have seen many works of art following what we call the golden ratio which is an irrational number that is approximately 1.618 and often denoted by the Greek letter pi. So, what makes this number so special though? It can be because these numbers are very useful in our daily lives or it can also be because of amazing things behind this, like a Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers in which each number is obtained by adding up the two numbers that precede it. Starting at 0 and 1, the sequence looks like this. When we make squares that are close together with those numbers as widths, we get a nice spiral known as Fibonacci spiral by connecting the corners of the squares. As the Fibonacci spiral increases in size, it approaches the angle of a golden spiral, a spiral pattern created from the golden ratio that is equal to approximately, you guess it right, 1.618 or pi. This can be constructed by starting with a golden rectangle with a height to width ratio of 1.618. The golden spiral is then constructed by creating an arc that touches the points at which each of these golden rectangles are divided into a square and a smaller golden rectangle. Fibonacci spiral can be seen in nature as well as architecture. Next time you're out, try to observe the arrangement of seeds in a sunflower head. They are arranged in perfect spirals of 5, 34, and 21. Pineapple create the same spiral based on the sequence. A pine cone too! Waves Petals of flowers, Nautilus shell, rotations of hurricanes, and the spiral arms of galaxies. Your favorite historical architectures like the Pyramid of Giza, the Acropolis of Athens, the Notre Dame de Paris, or in arts like the Mona Lisa and the Metropian Man. Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio has guided humans throughout human history without us even noticing up until Leonardo Fibonacci did. We hope that we have contributed to our knowledge of its presence in the world around. See you next time!